Hello great people, welcome to Telling Talks. Well, hello great people, hope you are doing really well today. And I'm Choki Saputra and I'll be your host for today's sessions. And this is our first episode of Telling Season 3 of Telling Talks. And definitely we will talk and discuss more about people, culture, and the current trend of this industry. And of course, this episode is very special. Why? Because we will hear a lot of sharings from the experts with various backgrounds and expertise. And in this episode, I will bring a very special speaker. Who is he? He is really passionate about people and has a special concern related to the employee experience. So, let's welcome our CEO, Pak Budi Satria. Hello, Pak. Hello. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Very All good. good. All good. Very exciting today to have a session with you. But before we discuss more about today's session, I will introduce about our special speaker today. Here you go. Budi Satria Dharma Purba or widely well-known as Busat, is a highly motivated professional with more than 20 years experiences in the telecommunication industry. With extensive experience, understanding of international business practice and cross-cultural negotiation, he has in-depth knowledge of telecom industry, landscape, and technology. Budi is a Master of Engineering from Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology and is a holder of Charter of Honors Satya Lanchana Pembangunan from President of the Republic of Indonesia in 2015. He was also honored as Best Chief Marketing Officer in category of BUMN subsidiary at the BUMN Branding and Marketing Award in 2018. Wow, what amazing background, but it's really, yeah. what to say, a really great achievement of you so far. It's not me. It's all talent. Okay. And it's, it's all about okay. you. That, that's a really good statement of you. Okay, Pabudi Satria. So now, let's make it quick. We start with the first questions I'm really curious to know. Yeah. Regarding the 15 talents anniversary, yes. there are a lot of milestones from the beginning until today. Yeah. How do you see the milestones of talent? Well, uh, actually, it is a 15 years anniversary, mm -hmm. but uh, when we start the international business, it's not. Uh, 2007. Actually, we started international business since 2003. Actually, it's wow. more than 15 years. We started within Telcom Group. Mm -hmm. When we started international business, we launched our international service back in 7 of June uh, 2004. Mm -hmm. So it's 18 years. Actually, more than that. More than that, right? But then the uh, management the, during that time, after we ran the international business a couple of years, started to think uh, how to make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Then the management uh, decided to spin off the international business mm -hmm. uh, to become the TEE. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we converted the Area West, uh, PT Area West to become uh, TEE. Then all the international team within Telecom Group moved to TEE mm -hmm. back to 2007. That's uh, the mark of the, our anniversary, actually. And that's where Telecom names yes. came from. Yes. And then the, after that, we grow mm -hmm. our business. And uh, since 2004, when Pak Arif Yahya became our telecom group uh, CEO, he started pushing more on the international through the program, what he called as international expansion. Okay. So then uh, we started expanding our subsidy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, previously we only have Singapore, Hong Kong, and yes. Timor-Leste. Uh, but then we expand to Malaysia, Australia, USA, USA uh, Taiwan, Macau, and others. Yeah. Wow. So a long journey a long journey more than 15 a long years journey. Yeah. right it's amazing journey yeah 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 and i understand that the most important in this company is actually the people yes right i'm curious to know what is your point of view of employee experience that's the first and because we are selling product and service of course we have customers mm. so the question is what is your point of view of your employee uh, experience and customer experience. So, Choki, there are two things why uh, uh, 
people is really important for the company. Mm -hmm. One is because because of the uh, uncertainty situation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the uh, uh, people call it a fuka, right? Mm -hmm. So we need the people that really on the ground that can respond to the changing in terms of the environment, the the industry. Yeah. So so uh, we cannot just rely on our long term plan. Everyone should respond, and the company should respond. And in order to do that, we should rely on the people. So that's why, in terms of the business, of the people important. Yes, I when when I become the talent CEO, I said that we need to drive uh, employee experience to provide better customers experience. Yeah, because again, uh, you know, to make customer happy, we should have a happy employee. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if you know you 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 come to you know let's say sales people or yeah, or, yeah. or or, or, or frontliners yes. you come and you see the people you know uh, depressed yeah. are you happy even before you you say something you feel also already not good okay. right so I always believe that uh, uh, only happy employee can make customer happy only happy employee that can make customer happy and only uh what is it the energized employee can drive more business can you believe if someone quite frail you know uh, not energized and you say that then they say that oh we, we want that. we want to run and beat uh, a shen ball uh, the runners 100 meters you will not believe it, right? Because you see the people is not really energized. You know, we need energized people. So it's about people. If you want to provide the best customer experience, make sure You're that here. the people, the employee are happy. Yeah. Right. So people is really important for you. People is really important. Right. right. No matter who they are, as long as in the part of this team, they gotta be also happy. They, they must be happy. The yes. customer experience yeah. also very good. Yes. Wow, that's really great because I always know about Bodhisattva, he always concerned of its people because for him, again, people is very important. But the next questions that I want to also know from you, it's about your expectation. Your expectation for this big company, Telling Group. What is next? What is the future of Telling the US Pack? Yeah, Jackie, uh, I already shared during the Telling bit, right? That one thing that uh, uh, I'm really uh, expecting is, uh, you know, to make Tallinn become, uh, you know, double in terms of size in the next uh, uh, five years. So we have a lot of program. Now we are doing the transformation, how to achieve that. Because, uh, you know, everyone start questioning, right? Yes, we did the great things in the yeah. past few years. Okay. You know, our revenue, our financial oh. performance growing significantly. But it's always the question is, whether we can sustain the growth, right? So we do, we'll do the transformation in order to make sure that we will uh, double uh, our size uh, in the next five years. The second thing that I want uh, uh, to make Tallinn is to become the most admirable company to work wow. with. Because again, as I shared earlier, people is really important to attract the good talent to retain yes the best talent is uh, we want to make Thailand become the most admirable uh, company to work with and that's why a lot of program in terms of the uh, people that uh, we are doing now like dream catcher, uh, a dream catcher uh, to prepare the next uh, young talent to become the next uh, Thailand leader and there are another uh, a lot of program that we are going to launch in order uh, or related to the people development yeah wow well there are a lot of things and i believe actually i think it will be very easy for talent because i'm really confident i'm part of talent i can sense that our body is really really concerned on it and they can do it anyway Pabusa, unfortunately actually our time is very limited but i still have one last question mm. before we close our session today and i think this is also very important for teleners especially to know what is telling for you Thailand is just like uh, everything for me. Okay. You know, again, from the history, 
you know, I work in telecom uh, since uh, 1997, right? So most of the time, starting from 2003, all, all of my, uh, you know, uh, uh, working and assignment are inter international. So I studied all of this international business. I'm part of the Italian. So it's just like a baby for me. It's, you know, uh, uh, you race. Yeah, it is, it is in my blood, you know, the Italian is in my blood. So Sorry your son and your daughter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so so it's, it's really, really, uh, you know, important for me. And uh, I, I'm going to be happy to see Italian growing, uh, become a big uh, company uh, in the next uh, few years. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, great people, I can really sense he's talking from the heart when I asked about what is telling for you. So this is actually, I want to ask the Babu Satria if you don't mind to share to all great people here, what's your closing statement for everyone here to, to, to all great people who are watching us right now. Yeah. So uh, everyone, uh, first of all, thank you for all your contribution to Talin. And uh, uh, let's make uh, Talin become a great company. We work hand in hand. So everyone will achieve, uh, uh, you know, not only for this company, but individually also uh, being the flop and uh, uh, feel happy to work in Tallinn. So it's our commitment to support all of you to be a great people, to be a great leader, uh, not only within this company, but within this industry and also globally. So hopefully, uh, you will be with me to support all the initiative for Italian uh, during this transformation to achieve our great goal. Anyway, thank you so much, Pablo Di Satria. Really great session today. I I heard a lot of things about Italian, about the people, and of course, what is Italian for you. With us, thank you so much. Thank you, Chucky. Hope you have a really great day and of thank course, you. success journey. Thank so, you. well, thanks a lot for all uh, the time, guys, for watching this episode. Thank you so much for sharing Pabu Satria to us and hope it can be something that very insightful, very good for you. Maybe we can learn something from the experience of Pabu Satria. And to all great people, we hope you enjoy our talk. I'm host today, Joki Saputra. See you in the next episode. Stay tuned on Talent Talks, connecting the idea. Have a good day. Bye-bye. See you.